back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell so you are notified every single time I upload, which is normally every Monday and Thursday. It's a little off because I'm doing Vlogoween, so things are a little crazy sporadic, but yeah, definitely hit the bell so you're notified when those videos come out. And yeah, let's get into it. So what I want to do today, I'm trying something a little different. I want to try these um, Dashing Diva gloss... So I want to try these nail stickers from Dashing Diva. Um, sorry if there's a glare. I have a, a whole bunch of them because they came out with all of their Halloween. And so I bought, um, I, there's a few I didn't get, but they, I got a good bit of them. Um, so I just want to show you all the designs and then I think I'm going to pick one. We'll do that today. Also, I just want to chat a little bit. I wanted to say, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about chronic illness here. If you want to go just straight to the nails, here is the timestamp of where you want to go to. But first, um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who has left really kind comments, especially on my last Decorate With Me video, who were really nice about like, you know, no makeup and wearing pajamas and that kind of stuff. And who's also just said on other videos, thank you all so much for being really understanding about that. Um, it's hard because, you know, when you see other creators like wearing makeup all the time and dressing all nice and like, I'm sitting here in jammies and no makeup feeling like a flarb it's really hard to kind of <laughs> compete with that. Not compete, but just like get people's attention because I feel like people are, are always focused on like pretty people. And so when you don't, it's hard to stand out. Let me just say that. I just want to thank everyone for being really understanding because um, I don't always, I love makeup. You guys know I do, especially if you saw my Kaleidos video or if you've just seen my videos, you know, I like to wear makeup a lot, but sometimes I don't always have the energy for it. And it's really frustrating because there'll be something I want to film for you guys, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have the energy to like dress cute or go put on makeup or whatever. So then I end up just not filming. So I'm trying to be, I guess not care as much and just like, if I want to do it, I'll do it. And hopefully you guys understand. But at the same time, I'm still self-conscious about that kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'm sure if you, if you also deal with chronic pain or any sort of chronic fatigue, I'm sure you can identify. So I just want to thank you all so much for being really empathetic about that. It really does mean a lot to me that people get it and I don't feel quite so pressured to like have to always put on a face, even though, again, you know I love it. Thank you all for just being really nice. Oh, and there were some people who were asking, um, I don't know if it was in the last video or video before, someone asked, um, what is a Spoonie? And there was a person that replied to that that gave a beautiful response. Um, but I wanted to, I'm going to, in the description, I'll link a video down below that I found that's like a three minute video, so it's a short um, little description of what is a Spoonie and the Spoon Theory. In case you've been wondering when I say like shout out to all my fellow Spoonies, now you might know exactly what I'm talking about. So definitely feel free to check out that video in case you want to know more about the spoon theory slash being a spoonie. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into all of the nail stuff. Okay, so um, I did my hair yesterday. I feel real fresh and I thought I would today do my nails because I'm very hard on nail polish. And that's why I never get my nails done professionally because I'm afraid like I'm going to spend like... 30 to $50 on something and then like three days later either break a nail or chip it or something and I'd rather just do it myself and spend like way, way less. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of these Dashing Diva gloss ones and I will show you each of the ones that I got. First one, this little cat. This one's so cute. This will probably be a year round one for me so I'm not gonna use it for Halloween. This one also I think could be year round for me. Um, it does have little ghosts. But I love the stars and moons and pink, so I could always just do the pinks, stars and moons year round. I think that's cute. This one could potentially also be year round for me because um, it's purple, moons, the little stripes. They do have the little witch, witch feet. Sorry for the glare on this. I'm trying to do my best. Three I am between for today are this one, which cute eyes, pink. There's some glitter, little spider webs, little spider, like... I guess you would probably do a spider like dripping down. These are so cute. This one is bats, little Halloween decals, some glitter, a couple different glittery ones, and some just black ones. And then there's this like 
pastel glittery bats. I'm kind of thinking like I'm wearing this really fun shirt from Black Craft today. It's like bats and like this spooky lady. And then my earrings today are these little bats. Got these from Kroger by the way. Or no, Walmart. I got this from Walmart by the way. But I'm thinking of one of the ones with bats just to kind of go with that. <laughs> Maybe the more traditional Halloween colored ones. Why not? So I did go ahead and push back my cuticles on this. I don't know whether to try and show you guys like my actual nails while doing this or just to do it and then chat with you. Maybe I'll pull you down so you can see it and I can still chat while we're doing the nails. I'm not like professional at this. This is the first time I'm actually trying this set. Um, there is some, there's actually quite a few videos on YouTube. So if you wanna know exactly how to apply it, watch those. This is more me just trying them out and chatting with you guys. Okay, so when you pull it out, there's a little case. There is, there's some strips, ah! Strips on the right. There were strips on the metallic thing. I remember somebody saying like, aha, there are, there are more strips behind the little metallic piece in here. So make sure you don't throw those away. There's apparently a second set. So that is awesome. Okay, let me pick out the ones that are gonna fit my fingers and then I will pull you down and we'll actually do the process, okay? Okay, so I'm pretty sure which ones of these I'm gonna do. Um, I went ahead and pushed back my cuticles and now I'm just gonna rub some, um, they have a little prep pad that's rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna do that on my nails to help remove any excess oils and that kind of stuff. By the way, I did find these at Ulta, uh, or actually Ulta's website. Um, uh, Ulta's website said they had them in store. I went in store and they didn't have them. So, um, at least the location I went to. So I just got them online, had them shipped. They arrived within like three days. So definitely check the website. I really like these. Well, I think I love the design. So I'm hoping I really like these. I'm gonna try some of this gloss base seal they have. This I did buy in store at Ulta. Um, and it's supposed to just kind of help hydrate your nails and help these hold better is my understanding. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to at least try it. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? What is everybody, has everybody got your decorations out for Halloween? Am I watching any fun movies? Craig and I watched Halloween last night, which we haven't watched in a long time. I forgot. <laughs> Honestly, how bad the audio is. I think it's just because when we watched, we watched it on, I think it was on Shutter maybe. Um, it's just, it's obviously meant for theater. So like the sounds were much louder than like the vocals. So it was kind of hard. I had to have subtitles on for me to be able to hear it. But that was fun because we hadn't watched that in a long, long time. And it makes me really excited for the new Halloween movie. I think that'll be cool. So I'm trying to watch all of them again just to like, because there's so many. I'm trying to watch all of them to get prepped for that. All right, let's just go for it. I think I'm going to do, I suppose you could do whatever nail first. I'm going to do, I think, the thumbs first. I've picked out, I think I'm going to do, the one thing about these is they're not, it's not the same on each strip. So like my thumbs might have to be different unless they like fit different sizes, but... You know, it's fine. It's fun and playful, but I think I'm gonna do the bat on my thumb. So you're supposed to be able to just like lift this up. There we go. So you lift it up and you're supposed to just place it as close to your cuticle as possible. And like right in the center of your nail. Well, that was very lopsided. Oh well. And then you just smooth it out. So this will be, I'm curious to see how long these last. They're supposed to last like up to two weeks, which I will be impressed. Let me just say, I will be very impressed. And then you just take the nail file, they provide it, and then you nail down, or you nail, you uh, file down. But yeah, are you guys doing anything fun like this month or anything? It's been raining here like crazy lately. So honestly, I haven't done much of anything. I want to decorate outside, but it's been, so rainy that it's been really hard to. Ooh, okay. Actually, that feels pretty friggin' sturdy. <laughs> Bit. That's cute. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna do a couple of these. I'm um, just gonna go ahead and get ahead, and then I'm gonna just show you what it looks like after the fact because I wanted to chat with y'all, but I feel like this is gonna take me quite some time um, because I'm just slow with the whole process. So I think I'm gonna do this, and then um, I'll just check back with you 
I'll add the, uh, the end and show you how my nails look. So, see you then. All right, friends, I'm all done. So let me try and give you a close up. I think these are super cute. And it took me, uh, I would say about 20, 25 minutes. One episode of Untucked. <laughs> That's what I watched while I did this. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I mean, my nails are short, so don't, I'm not, you know, I don't got the claws. I would love to have claws, but this is what my meds allow my nails to do. <laughs> so um, I think they're fun. I'm curious to see how long they will last. So I will try and keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I will be wearing this outfit because I'm about to film another video or two today. So if you see this outfit several times within the span of a week, well, now you know why. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you ever tried any of these before. And if so, what's your favorite design? If you have it, is there a design that like piques your interest that you're super excited about? Um, which set should I do next? Let me know because I think... I think I'm gonna like these. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I always appreciate all your love and support. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.